finish up some stuff around the house. Kind of a late start to getting out there, but we're uh, we're on our way nonetheless. As you can see, it's about oh, we're just getting gnarly glare. About quarter after nine. So lake we're going to fish isn't um, <clears throat> too far from where I live, so should be there shortly. We'll get everything uh, unpacked and yeah, gonna be getting on some panfish. Got the got the markum. See if we can't get on something. Sorry for the glare on the 15 foot mark. Got a fish on us. Oh, might have a little guy. Oh my gosh. A little was an understatement. <clears throat> little bluegill. I mean, when I drop down a lot of fish, they're up here and they're chasing this jig down. There's another one. Little guy. Little crappie. Little guy. This lake has a lot of little fish. We'll have to sort through them today. That's for sure. I'm just using a what it is is a green banana grub with uh, red spikes. Still got still marking a ton of fish. We're gonna get back down there. All right, we got the shanty flipped over. Got the heater running. Let's drop back in here. Let's see if we can't pull a few more out of here, out of this hole. We got a lot of fish on the screen. <clears throat> Looks like a big one there, about 11 foot. He's coming up to it. Let's see what it is. Might be a crappie being suspended that high. Boom. Got him. Feels like a little bit of a nicer fish. <clears throat> Got a bluegill. Let me turn the light on in here for you guys so we can see what's going on. Not bad. On man, they just come right in once you start dropping your jig. Got one coming up to us. He's on us. Got a few fish there. Just giving it some little jigs. Gonna bring it up just a little bit. See if they come up to it. There's one coming up to it. This lake isn't known for... There we go. This lake isn't known for... Uh, big fish by any means but it's fun to come out at least you're catching something another gill 
little guy. I'll pull you guys up quick in case you're wondering. I'm fishing in a, uh, it's a uh, clam Kenai Pro Stealth. So it's got the uh, overhead overhead storage here. This one came unclipped. Um, overhead storage and got the light LED light bar. So it's a pretty pretty sweet setup. I don't know if the lens is fogging up or if it's the screen that's fogging up. Maybe a little bit of both. So yeah, pretty nice. I like it. Battery battery sits down there in the corner. Can't see it, it's too dark. Still got fish on the screen. Markham LX7. I've been loving this. Um turn this heater just down to a pilot light. Um I've been loving this thing. I got it for, got it in June, so this is the first year I've got to use it, and this thing is freaking awesome. There, that fish just came right in from the side. Oh, almost had him. Probably a small fish. He gave it a kind of a, a pretty light bump. I'm using a 13 fishing tickle stick. Uh, I think it's a 23 inch ultralight. This is my one of my favorite rods for fish this type of fishing. Super super sensitive and you get um, nice jig action. Uh, but it loads up loads up good enough for crappies and everything else too so I'm gonna come above these guys see if they swim up to it I'm right there just just uh, just above 15 feet I got a fish that came up to me already he's kind of swimming with it now they're all moving up taking a look at it oh had a bump Sorry I'm sniffing, kind of getting over a little bit of a cold, but... Let's see if they come up again. Man, that fish there, he's really interested. He keeps coming back up. There we go. This is going to be a little guy, I can tell already. Really little. But, you know what, we're out, we're on the ice, we're catching fish. They're not monsters by any means, but at least we're catching fish. You know what I mean? He's little, but what are you going to do? So for anyone that's not familiar how a flasher works, you can see this line right here. That's my jig coming down the coming down the water. So when I raise it, it comes up. Um, that's what you're looking at. So that way you can see your jig. Now that line that just came in there around 10 foot, that was a fish. We're going to drop down and see if we can't pull something off the bottom. The bottom's a solid red. You can see my jig is just above that line. It's just a faint blue. I'll zoom you guys in just a touch so maybe you can see it a little better. There we go. So we'll see if we can get anything off the bottom here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, okay, we got a fish on us. See that red mark? That's right on our jig.
We got one above. So let me, I'm gonna raise up. See, they're chasing me up. So I got one right on us right now. Oh, missed him. Missed him. So for those of you guys wondering, the auger I'm using is a six inch Strike Master laser. And um, I'm using a rigid X3 drill. Um, I bought that drill, <clears throat> what has it been, probably about four years ago when my wife and I were building our house. Got a fish. Uh, he's right there. He's looking at it. Um, so it's a half inch drive. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure of the ratings anymore of like inch pounds and all that stuff, but it runs a six inch laser really well. Um, my buddy, he's got a rigid, same setup, but he's got an X4, the newer one that's brushless, and that thing is a hog. Uh, we raced, everyone's uh, really looks in, up to the Nils augers and stuff, and we raced his drill with a Nils 6 inch and a laser 6 inch, and the laser outran the Nils by quarter second every time we did a five five runs <clears throat> five holes with the laser five holes with the nils same drill same area ice was all the same and the uh the nils was outperformed by the laser every time and the thing that's nice about the lasers you can go to a local store and buy buy blades for it so that's nice so save your pennies Buy a laser, that's my opinion. Make sure you buy Swedish blades too, those China blades suck. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to come up in the water column, around 15 feet, see if anything doesn't come in from the side. Let's check our bait. Maybe we're, maybe we don't have any bait. Could that be a problem? Yeah, let's freshen that up a little bit. Using red spikes, there we got a fish around 15 foot. Let's see if we can drop down quick and bring bring him back in I've had the best luck with red spikes at this lake there he is let's see if we can't get him to hit let's see if we can come up here get above him Not interested. Drop down here. Got some fish coming in off the side, off the bottom. Oh boy. There they are. Oh, come on. Come on. That's the thing that's awesome about this tickle stick is it is so sensitive. Even these real small fish that are like minnow size, you can still feel them. explain how small this guy is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at that. Puny. Gonna set right right at the bottom. Just barely off the bottom there. Oh, that one felt like a little bit of a nicer fish. Let's get back down on there. I'm gonna switch you guys on a different camera angle here. So yeah, this is a 
first video that I've done like this. If you guys like it, leave a thumbs up and I'll try to get more videos. Uh, once it comes in the fall, we'll do some duck and goose hunting. We'll do some shooting videos. Over the winter, we'll kind of do some ice fishing like this and kind of do a little bit of everything. This heater, man, I tell you what, these insulated shanties, it does not take long. <clears throat> I run this thing on a pilot light more times than not. It is so, it gets so warm in here. checker bait. They don't seem to be interested. No bait. No bait. <clears throat> Alright, got some... Oh, we got a lot of fish popping in now. Let's see here. Coming up to it. There's the bump. smaller than the last one. I can't even hold him to even show the camera. Here comes another one. We're at 10 feet dropping. There's 15. We're gonna stop right above, <clears throat> right above these guys. And they're here they come. They're gonna come take a look. There we go. Still pretty small. Still small. You know, there's always a lot of discussion about electronics, <clears throat> whether they help you catch fish or not. And I'd say, of course they do. I mean, you can see if you got fish there, if they're not interested in what you're fishing with, you know, you might, you might there we go, that's a little bit nicer. You have to s switch colors or switch bait, it gives you, gives you something to go off. You can tell when I say a little bit nicer. <laughs> It's still not a big fish, but nicer than what we've been catching. Yep. Little gill. He's nicer. <clears throat> He's quite a bit nicer.
got that one without the players. Okay, guys. So the camera died while I was out. So I'm back home, as you can see. Say hi, Reed. Hi, Reed. <laughs> and uh, we're getting ready for the Super Bowl. And I'm going to put this video up for you guys. So probably was out there another half hour, 45 minutes before the camera died. And probably caught, I'm going to say, around 25, 30 fish. So it was kind of slow. It picked up a little bit, but naturally the camera was dead. So we'll get you guys out there again before the ice, before the ice leaves. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say go Badgers. Okay. Say go, it. Go Badgers. Go Badgers. Go Badgers. Okay. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>